was incredibly inspiring to hear from so many New Yorkers who are so passionate about so many issues. And as I said here, our democracy only works when regular people stand up and demand action. And I felt our constituents really were reaching out, speaking out, and, and wanting to be heard. And that's great because it allows me to do my job better, to be able to hear directly from them and then fight for their issues. I'm just going to have you reiterate a couple of points you already addressed, just you know, in bullet point form. Sure. Other stories we're doing in Albany. First okay. of all, your reaction to, uh, to Trump's pardon of the sheriff. I think it was immoral. I think his pardon is really outrageous, and uh, we should speak out against it. I think it was an abuse of power. And the uh, trans, uh, the transgender military ban. I'm disgusted with the president's action to tell men and women who will die for this country that they can't based on their gender identity is wrong. And it will make us less safe. Uh, the amount of investment we've made in these men and women who are serving today to say they can't serve uh, because of a presidential whim is disgraceful. I think we should work very hard to unwind his, his edict on this. And I'm gonna try to write a piece of legislation that gets bipartisan support to push back. And something way off topic. Um, your reaction, just like, you know, what, what your plan for, for with, with Harvey, with, with the hurricane. Oh, my heart goes out to all the families who are suffering. Uh, I watched the news like everybody else last night, and I'm really worried. I mean, we lived through Superstorm Sandy, and I was imagining if that powerful storm was hitting New York, how many lives would be devastated and homes would be destroyed. Um, we just have to do everything we can for those families who are suffering and hope that our uh, first responders have the resources they need to get in and save lives as soon as they can. So I'll do it. finish it. Thank I know you. I'm done. Thank you Thank so much. You so much. Thank you. Okay, so, so the election, the midterm elections are coming up. Do you think the Democrats can take the Senate back? Do you think? Uh, I do, and I think we have strong candidates who are running. There's 25 seats that are up, and I think every single one of those candidates are strong, represent their states well, and I'm actually hopeful that we will uh, keep all those seats and possibly win a few others. I think this is a time when people are demanding action, and I think they're holding elected leaders accountable. So do you think if that were to happen, now you talked about this was a dangerous cabinet, you talked a lot about the atmosphere in Washington, do you think we could move toward, you think if there were a Democratic Congress that there would be a move toward impeachment? I know we're way ahead on that. Well, that has a real process. I'm very concerned about the allegations that Robert Mueller is investigating. I'm very concerned about allegations of collusion. I'm very concerned about allegations of obstruction of justice, but I do trust that Robert Mueller will do his job and find accountability and transparency for the American people. Then Congress has a choice if there are um, indictments, if there is uh, responsibilities found by their investigation, then it is Congress's job to look at it and decide whether or not an impeachment process is appropriate. Okay. You, you, mentioned, you, you mentioned arm twisting here in New York, specifically. Who and how? Well, um, as you know, uh, members of Congress from New York uh, voted for this horrible health care bill. And one of the provisions that was included in the final version was a provision about uh, whether uh, localities had to uh, supplement Medicaid funding. Uh, taking that out, taking out that requirement, it was a gut blow to the state. Uh, it was very harmful. And I think that was something that they traded for their vote. Who, who did the twisting and whose arm was twisted? You'd have to ask them. You mentioned that out loud in front of a couple of people. You would have to ask them. Okay. And I do believe that members of Congress uh, are given certain favors in exchange for their votes. And I think it's true. And you, as the reporter, can investigate that and find out. But that is my view. I am investigating by asking the go. person who uh, said it and so my, out loud. And I believe that it's been reported on widely in our state. And I would investigate by asking those individuals why they voted for a horrible health care bill that will harm this state their districts and the people they represent. But again, you're the okay. one who mentioned it. So. And I've given you my reason, because they voted yes for a bill that directly harms their residents, and they were given a provision specifically that they asked for. All right, sorry. You can ask them okay. why, they, why they voted the way they did. Senator, uh, my husband and I started a podcast called Spotlight 19. Uh, the grassroots here has really uh, strive to keep John Fazzo accountable, but it doesn't seem like we're getting results. Uh, what message of encouragement do you have to the activists and constituents here in New York 19, where you are the first elected official that has had an open and uh, open town hall with notice to everyone? I think it's really important for all of our constituents around this state and this district particularly to be heard. I think it's really important to speak out on the issues that they care about and if they don't like their congressmen's members' votes, to speak out against those votes. Uh, 
Congress is supposed to represent us. Uh, they are supposed to listen to the people and then vote for things that are important to us. And when they are not doing that, we have to just speak out, push back, and demand accountability. And that's what elections are. So I hope everyone speaks out. I hope everyone who wants to run runs. But I believe that this is when democracy works best, when regular people stand up and demand action. And that is all your listeners. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.